We're talking about our next storm. It's coming. Let's start you off with the jet stream tonight. They're lined up, and uh, I didn't even mention this earlier. There might be another storm close to us by New Year's Eve. Uh-oh. Hang on. By then, we'll be a little colder. So, oh, I know. So, winter will come eventually. Not in, uh, not in December as far as any crazy snow. It's not going to happen. But January and February, I think we'll line up. We'll get some snow in here. The moisture continues. We're mild for December. Storm one, here it comes. Again, out of the Pacific, moves in here for your Thursday. That'll be your next 100% chance of rain. Your second 100% chance of rain comes in on Saturday, Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. That'll be a stronger storm. We're going to have thunderstorms in Oklahoma on Saturday, Saturday evening. Some of those, some wind, some hail, nothing too crazy right now. That'll move in, that'll move out. Instability will be low. And then we look good, really, for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, except Christmas Day will be colder, a lot colder and windy. So eh, kids don't care. It's all good. But much of next week, right, low pressure to our north. We're bringing in Canadian. We're bringing in some Arctic air for next week. So get ready. Lows in the 20s, highs in the 40s. So for this month, this will be the coldest air we've seen uh, this month. Now, we had record cold end of October and November. We're not going to see record cold out of this, but cold air is coming. It'll feel like Christmas on Christmas, right? 45 right now. The south wind at 15, gusting to 26. Downtown looks good. Part of our Lucky Star Skycam network here on a Tuesday evening. We're in the 40s. We'll drop another couple of degrees, but this is about where we're going to end up in the morning. Wind chills in the morning will be in the upper 30s as that south breeze will stay up. Still 10 to 20 miles per hour and breezy out there. All right, up top, pretty quiet across the U.S., but that is changing. This is your Saturday's storm, Saturday and Saturday night. This down here with the jet stream is your Thursday into Thursday night storm system. But notice the cloud cover increasing. It's just going to continue to increase. And uh, again, it's a fire hose of moisture. Look at the jet stream ripping into Mexico and California. That's going to be Thursday storm. And again, there's Saturday storm. It's much stronger as well. So combining both storms together, rain amounts will decrease. Unlike last week's big rain in the West, We'll see the least amount of rain in the west. As you move east, rain amounts will get higher. Eastern Oklahoma is going to be the winner out of this when you combine both storms. By the way, storm number one, this is storm number one rain amounts. Quarter, eastern Oklahoma, maybe a half an inch. So the first storm is weaker, not as strong, not as much moisture, okay? It'll be light rain Thursday, Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, and Thursday night. And then Saturday rolls in. Bigger system, stronger system. Thunderstorms will give you heavier rain with some wind, some hail. I-35 eastward, we stack it up over a half an inch of rain in Oklahoma City, one to two to locally three to our east, and a quarter to maybe a half an inch in the west. So we're kind of flip-flop what we did last week compared to this week with the rain. All right, lows tonight in the 40s. Cool, chilly with the south breeze. Wind chills in the morning when Jed and Lacey are out here. They'll be in the uh, 30s. Highs tomorrow, upper 50s and low 60s. I don't think we see a whole lot of sun tomorrow. It's going to be windy like today, nearly as windy, but we're going to be mostly cloudy. Thursday, highs in the 50s, not as windy, but here we go. Thursday morning, good chance of light rain coming into southwestern Oklahoma. That's storm one in Oklahoma City. Thursday morning, chance of rain, 20%. Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, a 100% percent chance of rain. We've had this all week. We had this last weekend. We had this last week at 100%. Okay, and then Thursday night, I-35 eastward, there's your rain, slight chance in the west. Friday morning, slight chance for showers in the metro, rain in eastern Oklahoma as that storm is departing Oklahoma. And Saturday evening and Saturday night, storm two, 100% chance of rain and thunderstorms. We will see, again, lightning, we will hear thunder, some wind, some hail, no tornadoes, nothing like that. But then there's your Christmas Eve mild and dry. The rain is out of here early, early Sunday morning. Christmas Day turning colder, a high of 47. We might actually see a few flurries around on Tuesday of next week, nothing major, but next week is cold, next week is windy, and lows in the 20s. Here we go. Carl, back to you.